finally we can begin to style the rest of our web page. The first bit that I want to style is the actual container inside the document. In the concept design previously it was that orange color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go to my notepad where I've already written these tags and code and script so that you don't need to see me painstakingly tape it out one by one. So I'll just copy the container and I will put it into my layout.css and I will paste it in and I'll just quickly explain how the div tags work. The body tag is relevant to the index.html. It is a straight body tag. Inside the body tag I've broken it up or divided it into separate areas. I need to reflect that in my layout.css. Therefore, I tell the HTML that this is a div script by putting a hash in front of the word. I'm just going to drop that down a line so that we can keep it separate so that it's easier to see. The rest of the information in here follows the same context as this one does. Background, how wide I want it to be, do I want a margin, what are my borders going to look like, and do I want any padding. I'll explain those things a little bit later on. The only thing that you need to see is that body tags or straight tags just start with a squiggly bracket, end with a squiggly bracket with the information in between. Divs start with a hash that tells the HTML that this is a div. I'll also show you really quickly how Notepad++ is a much better program than Net than just a straight Notepad because the way it differentiates and breaks these things up. It gives us the line that says, hey, here is the whole load of script in the CSS page for the body tag. The body tags and the container tags come out at slightly different colors so that you can see the differences. The actual information is in black. The content that we're actually trying to stylize, or the titles, I suppose, are in a different color, so it allows us to have a quick glance at it and see a whole pile of things. It means that if we make mistakes, things will show up differently and we'll be able to pick our errors, errors up much easier. If I save this and I go to my web page, sorry, I go into the folder, Web Design 1, and I open up index.html. I now can see that the container is coming through. The container doesn't fill the whole page like my concept design does because HTML only fills up to the last spot. If I wanted that to be bigger I could put some paragraphs in and then the yellow would track down with it and be as big as the page. I don't want to set this to be a certain size at this, sub at this stage because I don't know how long this web page is going to be. However, if I add content the yellow box will match it by dropping down in size. Before we do that, we want to put the rest of the style in though, so we can actually put some more content in. The next bit of style that we want to organize is the content division. So again, I'm just going to follow the exact same formula. I'm going to go into my layout.css, I'm going to go down to my notepad where I've already typed it out, and I'm going to copy in the content tag. I will go to my style sheet and I will down onto the next line and paste that in and just for neatness sake I'm going to keep these things lining up on the outside. Again you can see it's a div, it's a content div so it starts with a hash key and the information inside that pretty much follows the same. I am going to save this, I am going to go back to my web page where I am here and I'm going to hit F5 and refresh the settings and you can see my new border has come through where I've set it up to be the same color as the container and the width is different. To check that let's look in here and the width is 508 pixels versus 768 pixels. I will explain all of these chunks here later on once we actually get our web page to start looking like something. All we've got left to do now is sort out our navigation and our footer dividers and then we can actually start putting written content into our page. Again I'll follow the same process. Into Layout CSS I will go down 
onto a new line. I will go into my notepad where I've written this stuff down. I will copy the stuff I've written for navigation. I will paste it into the page, making sure that the setup is the same, just for neatness sakes. And I don't need to explain this stuff here because it pretty much is self-explanatory just by looking at it. I will save that. I will go to my web page and I will refresh the page. Nothing happens at this stage because there's no content in there. Doesn't matter. We're going to go and get it sorted as we put more stuff in. The footer is going to be quite an important part in this process because the footer is going to tell the boundaries above where to stop and it's going to give a little bit more structure to our page. All I'm going to do again, layout CSS, into notepad, find the footer details that I've already written, copy them into our CSS, paste them in, save our page, go into our folder and open up index.html and you can see now my page has started to pull itself together a little bit better. I have got well you can see right away by putting that footer in it actually gave structure to the above slightly. I've now got my header area where I've got Tim Berners-Lee written. I've got my content page. You can see very faintly at the moment where I've got my slightly separated color page and then I've gone through and I've got my footer in which forced these two to separate and show up clearly. At this point here all I need to do is start putting content in and our page will start looking like a web page.